Here is an update on the blizzard for the East Coast, Northeast uh, New England. This is a very serious situation. Let's get right into the forecast here. We have the northeastern states here, and this is where we're going to take a look at some of the particulars on this storm. We take a look at the NAM model. This is the latest NAM model run. You can see this is the loop here, and you can see the very heavy precipitation spiraling around the backside of the low. This is one, you know, this part of the storm that gets over New England. This will be the early morning hours of Saturday morning. This thing really winds up and it throws a lot of wraparound moisture even as back far west as the Hudson Valley region of New York and New York City. But the areas that really get hammered by this storm will be Cape Cod, up through southeastern New England, Boston area, Worcester, over to Hartford, Connecticut, these areas, Providence, Rhode Island, the eastern portions of Long Island. There's also going to be a lot of coastal flooding with this storm. All right, let's take a look at the freeze frame of the worst wraparound part of this storm. This is 1 a.m. Saturday morning, and you can see all the fuchsia colors and the white colors. These are the areas that will be seeing the worst and the highest snowfall rates, etc., etc. You get the idea. This is a very bad situation. So let's take a look at, we're heading on from the NAM model, and we're going to look at the wind amounts. Let's take a look at the wind. Look at these winds here. We start by showing you winds in upstate New York, northeast Pennsylvania, 40 mile per hour winds possible. We head further east in the Hudson Valley down to New York City, up towards the uh, mountains up in Vermont. This could be the area of 50 to 60 mile per hour. Keep in mind these are gusts, and then you head further into New England. This is where things really get bad. 65 to 75 mile per hour gusts and blowing this and drifting the snow around, five to ten foot drifts are likely, especially towards Boston, Providence. Look at this, 80 mile per hour plus winds towards Boston, Providence, Nantucket, over to Cape Cod. This is a very bad situation. The people will be trying to drive in this, of course, because some people think they can beat the storm, but this storm is extremely intense, and some of the models are taking this down to as low, well below 970 millibars now, 975 some even as low as the 960s at this point. And some, some have even hinted at the 950 millibar range. I'm not so sure if that's completely believable right now, but we'll, we'll take a look as model runs continue to come out. Let's take a look at some of the other particulars that we have going on here. We have a lot of data coming in at the moment, and right now we have a situation where we have, here we go, Here's the energy associated with the system. I want to show you currently where the potential vorticity is. You can see right up here in the northern plains, the Dakotas. This is the clipper energy part of the system with the clipper. And down here in the south, the, mid, the deep south here towards Mississippi and Alabama, this is the other area of potential vorticity. These are going to move, let's put this into motion, these are going to move and combine forces right over I mean, the phasing will happen so perfectly. The Euro and the NAM are indicating that phasing will occur and will explosive development just south of Long Island here off the New Jersey coast, and that will push the system on northeastward. Now, there is hinting that possibly this low could do a loop-de-loop -loop off of Cape Cod here. And that would be Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. That could mean prolonged pain for the New England states. So, last but not least here, we're going to take a look at another particular here. It's the snowfall amounts. These are the most important uh, part and aspect of this storm. Here are the snowfall totals that we're looking at. We've got more data coming in here. This is quite an amazing storm at the moment. We have snowfall totals, and yes, these are the latest ones that I have blended together here using our latest guidance and our geography and histor historical aspects of storms, studying the storms such as 1978 that took a similar path. Let's look at this expanse of snow. Of course, the lighter blue is the one to three inches, and that's most of southern Pennsylvania, Ohio. But then you get into the four to seven inch range, and this is the darker purples here, 
and that stretches up through most of Pennsylvania and a little bit up into the central and southern tier of New York in the valleys, four to seven inches likely. And then here's where we get into the 7-Eleven. This is the moderate snow, moderate to almost heavy snow, seven to 11 inches. This includes northeast of Philadelphia, central New Jersey, on up to New York City, seven, solid seven to 11, all the way up through the eastern part of the Hudson River Valley, extending all the way from Syracuse, all the way to Thruway, Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, these areas, and extending all the way back westward towards Detroit here. So this will continue, and here we get to the worst, and this is where we get into the 15 to 20 inch category, into the fuchsia colors here. Uh, this stretches from just west to Albany, down to west of New York City. Those higher terrain areas, the northwest New Jersey, the Sussex County area, and all the way up into the Catskills and the eastern Poconos. We cannot rule out 15 to 20 and look at the 24 to 30. That is reserved for the red color and those are the highest peaks of the Catskills, the eastern Poconos and northwest New Jersey. Then you get into here, New England. And I, I was thinking about 30 plus category range. We're going to hold off on that. But I am certain that someone around just west of Boston, Worcester, Providence, just west of Cape Cod here could get 35 inches easily out of this storm as snowfall rates approach 2 to 3 inches an hour on Friday night into Saturday morning. And here on the eastern tip of Cape Cod, we'll have a little bit more rain and mixed precipitation mixing in, but still a healthy 15 inch 20 inches, Nantucket 15 to 20, and heading on into Long Island. Long Island's also very complicated here with uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 and 7 to 11, depending on how much mixture we get. But the winds are going to be a big story. Power outages are likely with this storm. This is a very dangerous storm, very dangerous situation for most of New England and parts of the Northeast. So you almost see a comma shape in this snowfall pattern, and that, that pretty much exists as this storm wraps up into a comma. And that's what we're going to be looking at. I will fine-tune these snowfall amounts. Look at New, even New Hampshire here. The White Mountains really benefit, benefiting. It's inter going to be interesting to see what happens on Mount Washington during this storm, the winds and the heavy snow. So a good solid 24 to 30 over the White Mountains of New Hampshire. So we're going to continue to watch this, and as this storm unfolds, I'll have special coverage. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at MeteoMark for all of the micro updates on this storm. I post all kinds of images. Here is the Facebook page of MeteoMark. I post all kinds of micro updates, snowfall totals, updated snowfall totals, snowfall maps, uh, potent stuff like uh, the energy of the storms, potential vorticity, maps, and whatnot. So, like us on Facebook at Meteo Mark. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to uh, post a question or comment if you have one. You can do it on the YouTube video or you could do it on the Facebook page at Meteo Mark. And here's a four day forecast for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Elmira and the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania.